Okay, so let's talk about Fancy and I. Because I've seen a lot of crazy things, and I just feel like we need to break this down. So Fancy said that I was the one who posted about her court case. I was actually not the first one, so that's a lie. Um, in fact, the Nicholas Movement page posted it first, and then I posted it. Let's talk. Let's prove that. So this is when it was originally posted. This was the post that I seen. Also, a lot of my followers had already sent me the MissouriCase.net information. <coughs> that Fancy actually reposted it. <laughs> is right here. More. This is someone that's actually really close to Fancy that messaged me the morning after I posted that video. And I don't want to disclose who this person is because regardless whether they support Fancy or not, I really do like this person a lot. And so this person was upset at me for posting it. And like I said, I was not the first person to post it. But it says, you kind of did though, but it's okay. Do what you got to do. I feel like that was just a low blow for putting someone in danger. And that's the thing. It wasn't publicly broadcasted yet. Fancy knew about it and had been trying to figure everything out before speaking on it at all it wasn't exactly your place to put it out there now i said you do realize over 25 people sent this to me but one of my followers in particular sent it to me first and i said before i posted it it's something that was related to gypsy which is true right and this is a tea and gossip page and that and beauty content fragrance all that stuff but this was one of those things that were in it fancy and i aren't friends we have never had a relationship i want to be very clear about that because for some reason it seems like people think we had a relationship no she may have sent me a few messages in the past. I was very short with her because I just didn't get great vibes from her. And it might just be a me thing or her thing, whatever. But I don't, I didn't owe her that. Um, so I think a lot of people have that misconception. We were never friends. And, she, and Fancy has been blocked on my page for months, months. So when she said in a live that we had a great relationship before, no, that's not true. Now, when I made that video um, about the micro deletion, I gave her very much credit. But I didn't steal any content at all. And I waited weeks after she posted it to even speak on it. And so many of my followers were like, are you gonna speak on what Fancy posted? I left it alone. So the fact that she constantly talks about it and tries to discredit me really kind of annoys me. But also at the same time, I know who I am and the people that follow me know who I am. So I don't have to really worry about that. But I just wanna show you guys this receipt as well. Now, Fancy's been saying I'm a bencher plan. I've been talking cash stuff about these people from the time Gypsy came out of prison. So a blanchard plan. That just sounds crazy. But if you want to believe that, that's your prerogative. Um, however, I think she was doing it to turn people against me um, or thinking she would turn people against me and discredit what I say. But the people that feel like what she's saying is true, those are not the type of people that I want to be following me anyway. Um, because it's obvious that I'm not. Um, and one thing about me is I'm very direct and I'm very forward about what I say and what I do. So you could think whatever. She also mentioned that I'm a flip-flopper, but I've stayed consistent in how I feel and what I meant. And even when I was in communication with Gypsy, I still said she belongs in prison for life. But if she wants to change her life around, then that's her prerogative. But her actions will speak louder, and her actions showed that she's not. Um, and I've been very upfront and honest with that. I know I caught a lot of flack in the beginning because I do understand that a lot of creators have went um, and spoken to Gypsy or her family and they've sided with them. But I still feel how I feel and I'm never going to change about that because I truly believe what she did was wrong and she should be in prison for life. No matter if, you know, I communicated with her or not, I just feel like she was wrong and I stand firm on that 10 times down. Now also, let's talk about this fancy money situation. Listen, if people were willing to donate, that's your prerogative, right? Like who am I to say to whether to donate or not to donate? But I also feel like if someone asks about where the money went or anything like that and they donated, it's okay for them to ask that because it's a follow-up with a donation. And I'll give you an example. When the Nicholas um, Free Nick movement reached out to me and asked me to post the GoFundMe for Nicholas Godijan, um, I asked, like, how can I verify that it would be going to Nick? But I also asked, would his family or someone follow up with us to let us know, you know, the lawyer that he got or you know whatever's happening like you know not necessarily a specific lawyer because we know that we have to be careful with that type of information but a follow-up because you know you're donating that's an investment and when you're investing into something you want to know that if it's okay or how things are going because i feel like you owe it to the people donating so for fancy to say uh she doesn't have to say or anything like that i think that that was very selfish on her part but you know, if people are okay with that, then that's their prerogative, right? I just personally, as a creator, if I was to ever ask for money, which I just don't feel okay with, and I also know there's people in my life that if I ever got into a bad situation and I couldn't afford it, um, there are people in my life that would make sure that I am good. 
but I feel like people asking about it I just I don't feel like that's wrong but that's my personal opinion you know we're all entitled to feeling the way that they feel I also don't feel like um Tati Winskip should be dragged at all I think that she has been very level-headed um I think that she's been very reasonable um very compassionate um I have absolutely nothing bad to say I don't really know her we haven't really communicated that much maybe like a message here and there but not anything major but from what I have seen from her um I think she she has been very graceful um and I'm sad that, you know, people have anything to say about Tati Winskip. Um, I also think, and this is my, this might be kind of judgmental, so, you know, you guys take it how you want. But I also feel like um, Fancy has a past. And I feel like when you have a past and somehow you keep kind of getting tied up in kind of a similar situation, it, it says a lot. Um, and... I just feel like you should always treat your followers with respect because if it wasn't for your followers or your community, um, you wouldn't be where you are today in terms of creating content. And I feel like your followers deserve a lot of respect um, because for them, people can do whatever they want with their time, but for them to take the time out to watch you or care about what you have to say says a lot. Um, and I feel like as creators, we should respect that. And that's just my own personal opinion. Uh, like I said, I don't have any malicious intent. I still don't like, Casey's not my cup of tea, but honestly, it just is what it is. Um, but that's just my two cents. I hope you guys really do have a great day. I'm happy to be home. I had a wonderful trip, but I'm happy to be back. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye bye for now.